the alcometer 456 coating dry film coating thickness gauge. So we're going to use this alongside the 550. But first of all, we're going to calibrate this to the these plates that are going to be coated. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the calibrate calibration button. And now it walks it through calibration. Place the probe on calibration standard. So that's the shims. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down on the bare piece of metal. So I'm just going to take a couple readings, look for consistency, which we are obtaining. So, but we are just a hair off. The shim reads 4.91. This is reading 4.85. So I'm just going to use the arrow button, arrow it up to 4.91, then press set. Now it says place probe on the uncoated base. So I'm going to remove the shim. Now I'm going to take a couple readings on the uncoated. Again, we're just looking for consistency here. So again, just the hair off. I'm going to press the zero button. Now press set. Now it asks for test readings. I'm going to hit yes, just to make sure we did everything correctly. So I'm going to put the 4.91 shim back on the plate. Take the reading. 4.90, 4.91, perfect. So I'm just hit OK. And now the Alcomer model 456 has been properly calibrated. Now that we've got the 456 calibrated, we have sprayed our part with powder. We need to calibrate the 550. So what we're going to do, press the calibrate button, put the cap on the gun, and press the go button. Calibrate, it goes back to the measure screen. We are calibrated, ready to go. Press the go button one time on the gun, get it back to zero for sampling in the measure screen. Now we're ready to go up to our part and take some readings with the 550 powder gun. Taking a reading right in the middle of the part, took 19 readings. Pressing the go button, 1.7 mils when it comes out of the oven on that part, a cured film. I'm going to press go, take another set of readings, get the measure screen back to zero for my sampling. I took 10 samplings. I'm going to press the go button. It's going to calculate shrinkage. 1.7 mils when it comes out of the oven. We're going to follow this part when it comes out of the oven, and we're going to test it with the 456 that we calibrated earlier, and uh, give you a correlation between the dry film and the non-contact powder thickness gauge 550 readings. Going in the oven. So here we are, 20 minutes later, and now our sample part is coming through the oven here. Actually, it's the, the cool-off oven right now. So we're going to go ahead and grab this off here in just a moment, and we're going to test it with the 456 to uh, just verify the reading. Here. Now we're going to just verify the readings with the alcometer model uh, 456. So I'm going to take an average of five readings here. Okay. So it looks like out of five readings, the average is 1.72. And with the model 550, the uncured powder gauge, we had 1.7. So it looks like we're right on.